Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nadreen and I post three videos a week on a Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. So please be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future uploads. And turn on that bell, like hit the notification bell so that you get a pop up on your phone or your device every time I upload a new video. So I'm gonna get right into it. Today is a Zara haul. I made um, a huge order mostly from the Zara sale section and it came in this box. So I'm gonna unbox and try on all of the items for you guys and link anything that is still available down below. So this is kind of how everything came packaged. Okay, so we just insert those. Okay, so the first item was this um, lovely black top. So it's got a cutout detail on the front um, so you can show a nice bit of clavicle there. It's ribbed, long sleeve, and it's not too, too long. So I think it would sit quite nicely with a pair of tailored trousers. So I picked this up in a size small and it was $7.99 on the sale. So I'm gonna put these items out of the box uh, into outfits and then I'm gonna try them on in outfits so you guys can see how I sort of put them together. So what I thought that that would go quite nicely with is I can find it. Typically, it's going to be right at the bottom of this. Ugh. These trousers. So they are wide leg. The material is a lot different to what I expected. It's kind of. It seems a bit like denim, but it could be like a hard linen. Yeah, they're in this lovely beige or cream colour. And I got those in a medium and they, these were $15.99. So yeah, I would rock these two together as an outfit. And what I probably would style them with is this trench coat that I also picked up. Now this trench coat is a little bit different in that it has a really cool um, pinstriped sort of pattern down the back. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, it's also got it on the back of the sleeves as well. Don't know how I feel about that, but obviously I'm only wearing it for what it looks like on the front. I don't really care what the people behind me can see. <laughs> so yeah, this is interesting. I got this in a size small, it was $29.99. Um, and this, these three as an outfit would, I feel like would look quite good together. So let me model those for you and you guys can get a look and feel for what they look like. Then I saw these shoes and I was like, oof cute um so i already have a pair <laughs> a pair of zara stilettos but i couldn't resist but pick these up as well just to kind of try them on so they just sort of look like this they've got this kind of woven oh, they're a bit annoying though but yeah you kind of have to like put them on like that i'll put them on on my feet so you guys can can get a feel for them but they just looked they look like a bit of me, so I thought let me pick them up and style them with um, the first outfit. And then finally, this accessory everyone has been going mad for, but in the black colour. So I said, let me be a bit different and get it in this colour. So it's like a stonewash, like mole kind of colour, but it's that utility belt that I've been seeing absolutely everywhere. Now my phone wouldn't actually fit in any of these pockets. And in fact, I think I might be holding it even the wrong way around. I think it's actually supposed, that one's supposed to be that way but it's just really cute for like you know accessorizing up your outfit and just giving it a bit of dimension so this would definitely go nice with like the trench coat um anything to like cinch it in good for like Instagram pics and stuff and yeah this was 12 99 and this is real leather so there you go something that can just jazz up your average outfit and make it look a little bit more high end. I think I also had to get this in the large size, and this is in a size UK 34, but I think it comes in a size down from that, like a small size, but those were like, unavailable. Okay, so this is the first outfit on. I put my hair up because it just worked quite well with the mirror pic that I just took for Instagram. Um, so head over there and check it out. Um, but yeah, this is the trousers and the top and the trench coat. I'll just show you the back. Um, I'm not a fan of the trench coat, I must say. It's not form-fitting. It is oversized. It's kind of supposed to be a bit more um, undone. Um, so, not my style. 
But, you know, I think it's cool. I, and so I draped it over like this, but I think where the outfit really wins. Do you know what? Let me try it on like properly for you guys. And if you want the full length view, you will have to go to my Instagram because I just can't. My camera's not wide angle enough to get everything in. But yeah, this is what the trench coat looks like. The problem with it is it doesn't have, so it's got this belt, which is kind of fake because it doesn't go anywhere. You can't bring the strap. So yeah, so this is the top and the trousers by themselves. So the top I've tucked in and it tucks in quite well actually, but you can leave it out, um, but it just looks more tidy sort of on the inside. The sleekness of the neckline and um, like I said, we can get some nice clavicle on show. Um, always nice to show a bit of skin up here. I feel like that's a nice classy way of doing it. And then um, because the trousers are so nice and high-waisted, you know, it just gives the illusion of curves. So let me pan down and then this is what the trousers look like. I've also got those shoes on, guys. You cannot size down in those shoes. So yeah, that is what the shoes look like. They're really cute shoes, but they are certainly not my size. I got a five, I thought I'd be able to get away with it, but I cannot. That is outfit number one. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe let me drape the coat over because this is how I did it in my Instagram photo. I wonder if we can kind of get with this vibe. This is a bit better. This works for me. Next up is just a very simple knit. I got this beige knit in a small for $9.99. Um, nothing much to say about it other than the fact that it is very much ready for my autumn winter wardrobe. Um, I just wanted to get things like this now while they're cheap in the sale um, because obviously when all the autumn winter stuff comes back in it's going to be a little bit more pricey so $9.99 it's quite thin seems quite see-through as well so definitely one for loungewear um, or layering up if you are going outside in the colder months. Um, and I thought that would go quite nicely with this pair of wide leg jeans. So this is their 90s wide leg um, in the smoky gray. I got them in a size um, 38, which is a UK 10, uh, US six, uh, and they were 29.99. So they just look like this, very like light wash gray. Um, I've not really tried the wide leg. I've done the like flare bottoms, but not the wide leg. So I'm curious to see what these look like on. And I thought like, you know, that kind of dress down look would work really nicely with that jumper. So then I found this really cool suede jacket. Um, so it's like a trench style, um, but it's in this lovely um, sort of cream suede material. I got this in an extra small and it was $19.99. So Zara sale, very, very cheap for things that are like very much trend driven, uh, but also like you know your sort of staples so i would love to see what that looks like with this outfit okay so outfit number two um this isn't how i would wear it this isn't how i would style it but i just thought i would give you you know that kind of dress down idea when you're making an off the shoulder thing um however this is how the fit looks just as a whole i've tucked the jumper in you know you can always not um but because it's high-waisted i feel like when you do the tuck it just really emphasizes the waist you could do the tuck all the way around but i'm put under that then this is like up close what it looks like um this is what with the sleeves down so yeah as you can see it's very thin um, and it's just very loungewear. That's kind of where I accessorized with like this watch, some bangles, etc. However, the jeans are what I really want you guys to get a good look at. So they come up really nice, high up on the waist. Um, and the, the, um, the bottom is what I love. Let me show you that. So they're kind of nice and wide legged. <laughs> don't mind the boxes um, and then I start them with the shoes that don't fit so full outfit on my Instagram so now I'm gonna work it on with the coat properly so let me pull these sleeves down um, and one hack to like always looking stylish 
is to roll up sleeves. Roll up sleeves, wear things off shoulder, etc, etc. Tuck things in. It just gives you the look that you're a bit more put together even if you are not. So in this instance, we're just going to roll up the sleeves. I just want to check how it's looking on here. And then we're going to use the belt for cinching because with an outfit like this, it is very important to still keep your shape. little hack is what I tend to do is pull it in, cinch it at the tightest, the tightest you can do, this is suede so you've got to be careful with this, tuck that underneath and then pull it out at the bottom and there you have it. Now let me try it with this belt. Okay so it's working quite nice with this look, not bad at all. Okay, so there we go, utility belt on, if you want to do the most little handbag to the side, you know this very much screams to me parents evening so <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find a way to tone it down on my Instagram so head over there to see what I do with the final look. Um, next up, we're doing something different. Um, Again, with the leather, because I do love, I don't know if it's real leather or if it's pleather, um, you can see from here, more sustainable. So yeah, I don't think it's real leather. Um, so yeah, it's this really cute mini skirt with a nice like ruching on the sides just to really nip that waist in. Um, and I love, love, love this sort of deep burgundy color. And it's got pockets on the front and the back. So very fun. And I thought I would pair that with this really cool um, colour block knit. So it's just got the three rows. It's got your beige, oh, sorry, your cream. It's kind of like a beigey, browny colour and then like a dark brown. Really, really nice. I thought those would pair quite nicely together. But then, you know, the leather skirt, they're versatile. Like you can kind of wear them with shirts. Um, long sleeve bodies, all sorts. So that's another outfit. So we are a huge fan of this final outfit. So yeah, I just did the tuck. You have to do the tuck, otherwise it kind of looks a bit silly. Let me show you the skirt. And then it goes all the way around, like that at the back. And then when you kind of give it this effect, it's kind of like, I'm out, but I don't really want to be here, but you know, we can still look cute and comfortable at the same time. So, you know, all you people that go out in Shoreditch, um, this is your vibe. Full outfit look on Instagram. I also thought I would grab this clutch because it very much says comfort. So that's everything that I've got of all the outfits. You guys can vote and let me know which is your favourite one. Vote down below one, two or three. Outfit one, two or three and let me know which one was your fave. And um, yeah, I guess I will think about which items I want to keep. I also wanted to run you through some Amazon orders that I made just because I thought why not get it all out of the way in one video. So a lot of these purchases were influenced um, by um, Mel's wardrobe um, or Melissa's wardrobe on Instagram. Um, so lots of like skincare and general body care. So I'm really trying to look after my skin now that I don't have to wear makeup so much uh, and just so that I don't rely on wearing makeup to be honest. So, okay. so I'll start with here. So this actually was, um, who influenced this purchase? I think it was T Award potentially. So, but anyway, this is the Indian Healing Clay Mask um, from As Health and Beauty, Aztec Secrets. Uh, so just looks like that. Um, and this is the one that you basically mix in with water and into a bowl and then like paint it all over your face. So I'm really, I hear great things about this. So I'm really excited to try that. Uh, however, a practice that was influenced by Mrs. Wardrobe was this La Roche-Posay um, 
50, factor 50, well, it's all in French, I say. Anyway, it's SPF basically. So um, this will be going on under my makeup. Should I be wearing any or like um, just if I'm out walking? By the way, guys, I am starting a 30 day um, step challenge, um, which was started. So it's um, it's the Lydia Dinger step challenge or the Dinger step challenge. Um, I will link to her video where she kind of talks about her results down below um but yeah i'm starting that and i'll be outside quite a lot trying to get in my 10k and upwards steps so this is going to come in very handy i'm always banging on about the um benefits of protecting our skin especially as black people um so definitely wanted to like give this a go apparently this is the only spf that doesn't leave like that white cast on our skin so yeah really excited to try that um then i also picked up this sanctuary spa daily radiance daily glow radiance tonic so it's got glycolic acid vitamin b3 for brightening and skin conditioning witch hazel so i just looks like that i actually already use a lot of sanctuary products so this one um i saw Mel posted on her story and I was like oh do you know what I don't mind trying something from them because I know their products agree with my skin so I've got their body scrub I've got their um moisture miracle in shower um moisturizer basically and then I've got their um shower gel as well as their bath soak because I got like a sanctuary spa gift set from my friend Suki for my birthday so um in fact her birthday is coming up so if I get on well with this she's getting this back um <laughs> and then because i um just wanted to do the full you know full step routine for my skincare i needed a new cleanser as well so i bought a simple one not too long ago and i think they've changed the formulation because i used to be able to get on quite well with simple products with no issues but i feel like this cleanser has got something different in it that my skin doesn't agree with and my skin is getting very very sensitive as i get older so yeah so i got this biore deep pore charcoal cleanser um and you know if you've got oily skin apparently like these charcoal cleansers are the way to go and i hear great things about i've got very large pores so this is going to be a good one for me and then there's something in here and I don't remember what this is, so put this down. Ah, apple cider vinegar, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know why I bought this. Um, so I saw someone putting it in their hair, <laughs> but anyway, generally speaking, I think... Oh no, it's for the mask, I think. It's for the mask, but obviously apple cider vinegar has many, many, many benefits. But this is freaking huge. Oh my goodness. This will last me forever. So what I'll be doing... Let me get it out of this package. Okay. Yeah. So you're supposed to use this with the Indian clay healing mask. Apparently. Um, so you mix it up to like do that. Um, let's read through the benefits of this. Bragg organic raw apple cider vinegar is made from the highest quality, delicious, organically grown apples. Anyway, I'll mix this in with the clay mask, but apparently you can drink this as well. Yeah, so you can have this in the morning. There's lots of health benefits as well. So I might like start adding this into my smoothies or maybe just taking it as a shot. But yeah, definitely bought it to use with the Indian clay healing mask. So that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed both portions of the video, particularly with the Zara haul. Um, you might see these outfits styled up on my Instagram, so head over there, it's at Nadreen K. Give me a follow and um, we can interact on there. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video, so make sure you're subscribed. It's gonna be on Tuesday. Bye.